Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of August. This is being recorded in July, towards the beginning of July, so keep in mind this is for August. Okay, so it, it hasn't happened yet, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for the month of August? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aries for the month of August? What do we have for the month of August? One card, please. Ooh, the sun card. So that is seeing the light. That is enlightenment. That's healing. It's a very warm place. It's being in a very good place okay this is extreme happiness so August is going to be a beautiful month for you where there's a lot of light-hearted energy there's it's just it's being accepted it's it's good health it's uh, high vibration okay um, I don't know why these will not focus Look at that. It's beautiful. It's it's totally in the light, okay? It's totally uh, glowing, okay? The light shining down on you, uh, feeling very warm. It's just a lot of happiness. Very enlightened this month as well. Um, this is a life-giving energy. So this is like a new day, a new beginning. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So August is going to be a beautiful month for you. you we can see that. Okay, it's going to be beautiful. Oh. It's coming out of a dark period, right? Oh, these fell out. So it is. I mean, the, the light is opposite of dark. So it's coming out of the darkness. One more, please. One more card for Aries. Bell, there's going to be some sort of announcement this month. Tulip, great passion. And that would signify that as well. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. Wishbone. A wish is being granted, Aries. A wish is being granted, which is fantastic. And this is beautiful. It is. It's very beautiful. I, I mean, when a card, when your reading starts out with the sun card, that is extreme happiness, healing, uh, a new beginning, a new day, a breakthrough of some sort. Okay? So this is exactly what you've been wishing for. Um, you're going to be, this is success, and there's going to be an announcement, it's probably whatever you've been wishing for, okay? So what do we have for Aries for the month of August? That's like reaching for the sun, reaching for the light, okay? Somebody's reaching for it and they're receiving it. This totally, there's depth, and it's interesting when I put this card right next to the light. It's like your wishes, whatever you asked for, wishes being granted. Healing. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune upright. This is very positive. This is, this is good luck is on its way. This is the wheel of life. This is changing. Positive change is coming. Okay, you may find yourself at the right place at the right time. The wheel of fortune is very positive change, okay? Um, this is good luck. And it is being at the right place at the right time. There's destiny. There's karma here. This is also a card of, of completions, all right? It's a 10. So one cycle of your life is completing. And a new one is beginning. You definitely have a new beginning here. It's a very positive one. These are both very positive. So whatever is happening, it is it is uh, time. It's time for you to receive. So, and then you think about the wheel of fortune. This is fortunate. Okay, they're, they're going to bring you, this is a fortunate, good change for you. Uh, Six of Pentacles, reverse. Now, 
there you this is like an abuse of generosity this is strings attached to charity uh, dealing with a fraud there there's somebody has abused their power and I don't, I don't know if it's you or whatnot but this is a one-sided situation you've been in you've been in a situation that was one-sided where you didn't get what you deserved that you may have been dealing with somebody that was a fraud that was a con that only gave to you uh, you know with strings attached you know they only gave to you with expectation of getting more back in return um, five of cups there's grieving five of cups is grieving sadness over a separation it is you've been in that state of grieving haven't you but things are about to change you have this is sadness depression regrets but you notice what's right above it is the sun healing, healing from the, that uh, situation that you were in where you didn't, you didn't get what you deserve or you didn't get uh, equal. There was a lack of equality. Um, now, this could be um, financial loss. Somebody may have experienced some financial loss or they may be still experiencing financial loss. Um, this is a loss. This is, uh, it could be a rejection here. There, you could be rejecting somebody, okay? And it's sad to reject because this is some sort of rejection. Somebody abused their power. They abused their generosity. They didn't give what they said they were going to give or they were very selfish, very greedy. I mean, the Six of Pentacles reverse is a very greedy, selfish individual, okay? Um, five of Cups is, is sadness, Deep sorrow. Deep sorrow over not receiving something. So, you know, maybe there's been some abandonment here. And, and, and somebody may be blaming themselves, you know. Two of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed is uh, lacking balance. Somebody made some poor financial decisions right here as well. There could be some sort of financial mess. Somebody may have been in, may have caused themselves a financial mess. But things are about to get better for sure. Ah, moving. Somebody's moving. They're finding that discipline and that mental strength and the willpower and the determination to leave the self-loathing behind, to leave the the pain behind. This is determination. This is strength. This is inner strength. This is mental strength. This is getting in the driver's seat and being the boss of your life. It's taking taking the lead, taking the reins. It's facing opposition. It's it's leaving that painful situation behind that caused you so and I think it caused you financial stress or financial dismay or whatever you were involved in, you're leaving it behind. You are leaving it behind and you are moving in a new direction. I feel like you're you're letting go of fear as well. It's like you're 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 becoming fearless. Whatever happened changed you in a very positive way because they these are both very positive. Life is about to get better and it's because of you. It's because you decide, you dis, you find the determination to uh, bring success to your life. It's like, I'm not going to keep crying about this. I'm not going to keep uh, loathing or wallowing or whatever. You know, it's like I'm deciding that it's time for a transformation. It's time for a change. And it definitely is time for a change. You're controlling your emotions. All right. And I think you're letting something go. Okay, with both of these cards reversed in this, you are, you're letting something go. You're leaving it behind you. You're ready for this change, right? You're ready for something positive. You're ready for that new day. So you are going to have a breakthrough. This is success. This is headed towards success. You're taking a journey. You're going someplace. This is the end of suffering. It's the end of pain. This is leaving those past hurts behind on the path to recovery.
So there could be some forgiveness here. There may be some sort of forgiveness. You may have been hoping for forgiveness or whatever. This is being forgiven. This is being forgiven and being accepted. So you're going to be forgiven for something. Queen of Swords. Now you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, but the Queen of Swords is all about the truth, all about the facts. Very, very authentic. This person has no toleration for lies. This could be a judge. It could be somebody that is uh, in the legal system. Uh, that is that is very professional. The Queen of Swords is very sharp, very, very intelligent. Um, looks like she... I mean, that is the sword of truth. She knows the truth. She has the truth. She has the information. She knows the truth. Somebody may be telling you something. They may be, they may be revealing the truth to you about a situation. Um, now, the Queen of Swords is very, very... Uh, she has a sharp tongue. And she really has no toleration. I'm wondering if you're gonna, if you somebody is going to court, they're gonna be judged. They may be judged this month. Um, a new perspective is needed. Somebody was very, very focused on their money as well. And this is karma and destiny. So it looks like karma and destiny may have caused a financial loss. This is leaving the past hurts behind. Seeing the truth, knowing the truth. Taking a new approach. King, yeah, somebody was really focused on their money. Very, very focused. Selfish. Very cunning. Very clever. Um, very focused on money, 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 money. And they're going to be judged. Or they have been judged or something like that. Somebody was very, very greedy and selfish with their money. All they cared about was money and materialism and things. I think there's gonna there's there's financial loss here. I'm just being honest with you, okay? With the Six of Pentacles reversed, the King of Pentacles reversed, and the Two of Pentacles reversed, there is financial loss. Somebody bit off more than they can chew, and I think you've been trying to find balance, right? You have. You've been trying to find balance, but I think you needed some sort of a wake up call. The Queen of Swords delivers a wake up call. She does, and it's harsh. It's a harsh one. So I feel like you may have gotten some sort of wake-up call that makes you see that you need to go in a different direction, you know? That cycle of focusing on all that, those things and materialism and money is over. It is, just saying it is. I see you going in a different direction. This really hurt you. There's been a lot of pain. With the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed, there's been a lot of pain. Somebody definitely made some poor financial decisions, and that's what's caused so much suffering. Well, it's the end. This is this is the death of a situation. The Ten of Swords. It's the end. It's the end of suffering. It is. This is the death of that situation, and it's it's going right here with this tent with this. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, Dude, these are completions. This is the completion of that cycle. The cycle that you've been in. And I and this cycle does have to do with money. It does. It has to do with uh, financial gain. Somebody made some poor decisions to focus more on money than love. Because there ain't no love in these cards. None. So, anyhow, this is, this is, it's over. This is, it is over. That time in your life of struggling is over. Okay, I think that you have been struggling. You have been. You've made poor financial decisions. You have. You have. 
I'm just being honest. And people don't want to hear that. But I'm telling you why. You have. This is about being honest with yourself. Being forthright. Being authentic. Accepting the truth. Seeing the truth. Getting a new perspective. You are going to be obtaining a new perspective. You are. And you're going to be moving in a new direction this month. You may be moving. Period. This is going to a new destination. You're in the driver's seat. You're on the road. You're taking the high road. You're leaving that behind. So this is uh, facing opposition, finding the strength and the willpower to move. Ah, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Oh my God, this is irresponsible. Some of somebody that it, this is definite financial loss. If you, you know, you could be experiencing financial loss this month, but I'm here to tell you that there's more to life than money. There's more to life than things. I mean, the only love card we have right here is this one. Okay? It is. The sun is a card of love. It is. Maybe, maybe you're, you're being enlightened that you don't need all those things. And maybe the universe is taking things away to make you realize that you don't need all those things. Anyway, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is, is uh, somebody that is very greedy. They're inflexible. They're, and we have unemployed a couple times, becoming unemployed. You know, somebody may get fired. They may get they may get terminated. I'm just being honest with you. We have all these pentacles reversed. This is a lot. This is financial loss. Okay. But this is it's all for the better because this is the sun is a blessing, and this is positive change. Positive change is coming. This is over. Perhaps this period of financial struggle is over because it's over. It's over. This is some, this is, you know, there's been a, the, the Wheel of Fortune is a fortunate accident. So this, it's over. So whatever this, whatever happened, it's over. And it's time for you to get up and start over. So I feel like you are going to be starting over. You're definitely in the driver's seat. You, you have the, uh, ability to go in a different direction and I think that's what you're going to do this is mental strength ah thank you lord ace of pentacles so this is a, them giving you another opportunity to build something this is building something bigger better uh more realistic, something long term, you are going to be given a new opportunity. This is new, okay? You're going to be given a new opportunity. And this, this leads you down a new path. This is something that is so big, okay? This is a big, bright, oh, look at it. It's like the sun almost. It is. This is a big, bright opportunity. You're going to be given a bright, seriously, a bright opportunity to go down a new path and build up something new. Okay, this is this has potential, big potential. A potential for stability, security. This is a gift. You are going to be given something. You're going to be given a gift. For persevering, for changing your perspective. They want you to go down this new path. You notice there's a path that leads you through that archway. So there's there's they're they're pushing you to go down that path and that's why you had this, you know, flop, whatever it is, financial disaster by the looks of things. Anyhow, um you are going to be given a new opportunity that you can really uh grow. Okay, this is something that could really uh have long-term potential it is definitely the end of suffering with these two cards right here it is 
It's the end of suffering. Your suffering is over. You've already suffered. And maybe it's the financial loss that you've suffered. Things are about to change for the better. This is a breakthrough. You're about to be given a new opportunity. This new opportunity is a golden opportunity. Do not waste it. Take it and run. Seriously. Take it and run. And interesting, four of cups in reverse on the bottom, that is seizing a new opportunity. Letting go of regret right here, okay? Looking forward now, it's the end of stagnation. This is interested, interested in a new beginning. No more moping, no more crying. I'm gone. I'm, I'm taking it. I see it. I want it. So you are going to be given an opportunity this month that uh, it's actually a blessing it's a blessing after this hardship that you have been in. This is a money maker, okay? This is a, something that will lead to long-term stability if you find the mental strength and the willpower and the determination to stop crying over a loss, to stop moping over a loss, to stop staying in the present, to see things from a new perspective. To get up from that place that you have been laying and, and go. Okay? Go. So you are going to be moving towards a new opportunity. This is absolutely a gift. It is a gift from above. I say to take it. Take the opportunity. This is extreme happiness. You are. I think that you are going to... When this, when this is brought to you, when you see this opportunity, you are going to be so happy. You're, you're just going to be like, thank you, God. Good luck.